Spencer Lewis, at tracknews.com. Post race of Sunset Speedway, the, the penultimate regular season event on the Sunset schedule. I'm here with our fourth place finisher, Billy Z. Three Zardo. Billy, the last time we spoke, you were uh, you were not happy. You were making a pass to the lead early in the going. Contact was made. You ended up damaged and out of the race. Tonight, a completely different story. You charged from deep in the field. Didn't have the best redraw, but you ended up fourth tonight. The 46 was coming, my friend. Yeah, we uh, started back in 11th. And uh, last two laps, we got by two of the greatest in this business, Dwayne Baker and Tom Walters. So uh, you got to hold your hot head high after that. And um, the car isn't exactly where we would have liked it to be, where it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, but we're getting a couple more bugs out of it, and uh, we'll definitely be back for championship night. And you know what? I'm not looking for points anymore. I'm uh, coming out here and coming to kick butt. Now, is Sunset a track where starting position is not paramount? You can sort of work your way back through the pack if you have to? Um, you know, it doesn't really matter what position you start, but it matters who you start around. That's the key here. Uh, if, if you start around a bunch of um, potatoes... Hooligans. Hooligans. Uh, it, it definitely does not help your chances at all. Once you get around that stuff, you can start back 11, 12, even back even further, and um, you can still win the race because this track is awesome. There's an outside line. Uh, I was three wide a couple times tonight, and uh, there's so much room. It's a great track, great facility. These guys have done an amazing job. We've seen you on nights where you've sort of been victimized by guys not wanting to play give and take. Tonight was the opposite. Tonight you, you sort of, you, you had to run your way through the field and a lot of smart racing on your part and on the guys that you were racing with. It must be refreshing to have a night like that where you can go from 11th to 4th and still have the car, if you can see it there, still in one piece. Not a whole lot of body work to do to, to, before you got to come back out next time. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a pretty good week for us. We don't have to really do too much. Like I said, find a couple of the bugs, get the setup, ping on the way we want it again, make sure everything uh, isn't bent that we missed from the last last race here and um, I definitely think we're in for a good show for the championship night though. How important would, uh, would a trip to victory lane be on championship night for the 4016? Oh very important, that would just be awesome to close the uh, season points off with a victory. Um, again not looking at the point system but just the win in general, the championship night, it's, uh, it's a big deal. I mean it's never too early to start talking about the playoffs. You know, regular seasons are winding down. Sobel crowned their champion tonight. Delaware crowned their champion last night. I think Barry's got two weeks left. We've got a week left. So, I mean, it, it's coming, my man. So, right now, as of right now, what's the playoff season schedule looking like for the Z46? Uh, we're definitely coming to uh, Velocity. That's one of my fav most favorite events. We're, uh, we're pushing towards Peterborough. We really want to head to that one. Uh, it's a great show every single year. Uh, we just got to see how Velocity plays out first and what the budget is. And uh, I don't know, maybe I can talk to Grandpa into doing something else. Uh, guys, also keep your eyes open. There is a Thursday night race that's uh, not exactly played off yet, but Dilly wants to get a Thursday night race going with the uh, limited date models, and I'm trying to get the Grandpa into it. See, I'm trying. <laughs> There you go. Off. The return of Big Z. None of this is possible without the crew. You got one of the best in the business and the sponsors who have supported you through a lot of ups and downs. Thank the people that, that make this happen every week. Oh, for sure. Uh, first and foremost, dad and grandfather. And uh, without those two, none of this would be possible. My girlfriend, Lauren, she went through, through surgery last week, so she's feeling much better. This fourth place definitely made her feel good. Uh, Mom. Uh, my grandpa, my great grandpa Donnie, uh, Steve, Glenn, Sean for all his hard work, my brother for the support and, and what he can do, uh, sponsors, Hassel Automotive, Homes on Homes, Big Shoot Marina, uh, just all these guys, they're better contracting. They're so great to me and uh, I'm hoping to put a win. Uh, up on the calendar for them. What, what's the Twitter account? Now that we got used in Twitter, it's, it's a brand new world for, for the Z team. At Z3 Zardo 4846. There you go, folks. And come up to Sunset in two weeks and watch Steve go to work because he's going to have a hot rod for championship night, right? Definitely. We're going to have a car that can contend. We're going to be there. Billy Z3 Zardo, folks, fourth place finish here tonight.